If Jim Carrey, the famous comic actor, had taken a beating after being rejected as a performer the first few times, we would not have had great movies like Bruce Almighty and The Truman Show. Faced with dire poverty in his childhood, this brilliant entertainer was unable to complete school and was forced to fend for his family. His only form of practice was at home, when he would TL cheering up his mother in time of economic calamity. His first performance was at the comedy club of Yuck Yucks, where he was rebuffed by the audience. This however, did not undermine the young lad's confidence, and he went on to prove to the world that he had talent. With splendid comic performances in films like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, Liar Liar, and Me, Myself V.E. Irene, he carved a niche for himself in the live-action comedy genre of movies. Gradually, he began acting in more serious movies, begging prestigious honors for his acts in the films, The Truman Show, Man on the Moon, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In the last decade this celebrated star was included in the Canadian Walk of Fame for his cinematic achievements. Childhood v. Early Life James Eugene Carey, popularly called Jim, was born to Percy and Kathleen, on January 17, 1962, in the town of Newmarket, Canada. He was the youngest of four siblings, the others being Rita, John, and Patricia. Percy, of Canadian-French descent, was a Catholic who was employed as an accountant. James studied at the Blessed Trinity Catholic School, North York, for a brief period of time, before joining the Agincourt Collegiate Institute. Here too, the young boy studied for only a year, and then went to Northview Heights Secondary School. Due to financial crisis faced by the family, he was forced to drop out, and help his parents earn a living. When the family moved to Burlington, Carey pursued his education from the Aldershot High School. During this time, the teenager showed an interest in performing stand-up comedy acts, often taking time out to entertain his classmates. Career Initially, Jim began performing at the Yuck Yucks Comedy Club in Toronto, where he did not gain much recognition. Once the family's financial crises reduced, he got the time and opportunity to concentrate on his comic act. He soon began performing regularly on stage, earning a living in the process. Carey also aimed at getting employed as an actor in television and movies, and soon appeared for a TL out of Saturday Night Live produced by the national broadcasting company, NBC. He was however rejected for the 1980-81 season of the show, and turned his attention towards Hollywood films. The following year, he featured on an evening at the Improv, a stand-up comedy show aired on television. In 1983, the talented entertainer appeared on The Tonight Show, telecast on NBC. He was also signed up for two low-budget movies, Rubber Face and Copper Mountain. The next year, he starred in the television serial, The Duck Factory, aired on NBC, in the main role of an artist. Though the sitcom never saw the light of the day, it helped Jim bag more roles in Hollywood movies. During 1985-89, the aspiring actor was cast in the horror comedy movie, Once Bitten, alongside Lauren Hutton and Karen Coppins. He played supporting characters in movies like The Deadpool and Peggy Sue Got Married. Around the same time, he also acted with comedian Damon Wayans in the film, Earth Girls Are Easy. In 1990, Carey began appearing on the Fox Network show titled, In Living Color, designed by Damon Wayans' brother Keenan. Two years later, he played another small role in the movie, doing time on Maple Drive. It was in 1994, that this brilliant comic actor got his big break in Hollywood, with the film, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Though the film did not go down well with most critics, it was a hit with the moviegoers, making a name for Jim as a star. During the same time, he was also cast in Dumb and Dumber, and The Mask. His performances in both the movies were highly appreciated, and he won the nomination for the Golden Globe Award in the Best Actor category for the movie The Mask. In 1995, this new star acted as Two-Face and the Riddler in the Michael Keaton starrer Batman Forever. He also featured in the Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, which again was a hit with audiences, though it didn't impress movie critics much. During 1996-97, Jim was cast in two major roles in the movies The Cable Guy, directed by Ben Stiller, and Liar Liar. Both movies did exceptionally well at the box office, with Liar Liar becoming a favorite even with critics, and getting him another Golden Globe nomination. 
In 1998, he ventured into a more serious genre, starring in the movie The Truman Show. This satire brought critical acclaim to this splendid actor, who finally had proved his versatility. He ended up winning the Golden Globe Award in the Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama category. His next movie, Man on the Moon, released in 1999, was also a huge critical success. His portrayal of Andy Kaufman brought home his second and successive Golden Globe for Best Actor. In 2000, Carey acted in the movie, Me, Myself v. Irene, directed by Farrelly Brothers, who had made the actor's earlier hit, Dumb and Dumber. He was also cast in the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which earned him a Golden Globe nomination for the fifth time. Three years later, Jim appeared in the movie Bruce Almighty, alongside Morgan Freeman and Jennifer Aniston. Though the movie was not much appreciated by critics, it went on to gross millions at the box office. In 2004, this accomplished actor surprised critics and audiences once again with the romantic sci-fi drama, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, where he was cast opposite Kate Winslet. The same year he also appeared in the dark comedy, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, adapted from a children's book having the same title. From 2005-07, Carey starred in several films, like Fun with Dick and Jane, a remake of an older movie of the same name, and The Number 23, both of which received mixed reviews. In 2008, for the first time, this brilliant actor lent his voice to an animated movie for the character of an elephant in DR, Suze Horton Hears a Who. He also featured along with fellow actors Bradley Cooper and Zoe Deschanel in the film Yes Man. In 2009, the actor was cast in the famous movie I Love You Philip Morris, along with Scottish star Ewan McGregor, receiving positive reviews about his comic timing. The same year, he lent voices to the characters of Ebenezer Scrooge, as well as the three ghosts in the film, Christmas Carol. During 2011-13, he has starred in the movies, Mr. Popper's Penguins, Kick-Ass 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, and Burt Wonderstone. Around the same time, he wrote and published the children's book, How Roland Rolls. Ma Jor Works. Carey's 1998 film, The Truman Show is considered as one of his best acts, where he has divulged in satire and drama, along with his usual comic forte. His versatile performance not only earned him fans all across the world, but also gave critics a pleasant surprise. Bruce Almighty, released in 2003, is considered to be a cult Jim Carey movie, where the actor plays the role of a television news anchor with sudden godlike abilities. The film, though not a favorite with critics, earned $484 million, and is still considered one of the best comedy movies of all time. Awards v. Achievements This famous actor has received several Golden Globe nominations for his brilliant acts in comedy movies. However, it was during 1998-99, when he tried dabbling in serious roles, that he won two Golden Globe Awards for the movies, The Truman Show and Man on the Moon. In 2004, Jim was initiated into the Canadian Walk of Fame for his contribution to the field of cinema. The Maharishi University of Management in Iowa conferred upon this great actor an honorary doctorate in 2014. Personal Life v. Legacy Carey has been in several relationships throughout his career, initially dating pop musician Linda Ronstadt in 1983 for a brief period of eight months. In 1987, he got married to actress Melissa Womer, and the couple have a daughter, Jane Aaron, who is presently a singer. The two however legally separated after eight years of marriage. Actress Lauren Holly and Jim got married on September 23, 1996, but this too did not last long. Since then, the famous actor has dated others like Renee Zellweger, Lori Holden, Anain Bing, January Jones, and Jenny McCarthy. His relationship with actress McCarthy lasted for five years, before the couple publicly announced their split. In 2004, this star became a citizen of the United States, and still retains his nationality of Canada. He has always advocated against the use of harmful chemicals in vaccinations made for children. For this purpose, he pioneered the Green Our Vaccines campaign, held in Vasingtine.c.